Hello, in this video we're going to look at uh, counting evens, which is a problem in coding bat under the Python section in list 2. And it's a pretty standard problem. Uh, what we need to do in this problem is we need to loop through the entire list and check each element in sequence. And what we're going to do is we're going to check if it's even or odd. So the way we do this, and this is a good skill, is to check if a number is even or odd, we mod it by 2. And the reason we can do that is because um, when you divide an even number by 2, you have a remainder of 0. And when you divide an odd number by 2, you have a remainder of 1. So if n mod 2 is equivalent to 0, um, then n is even. And if n mod 2 is equivalent to 1, then n is odd. This is a really useful technique. So to do this, we're going to set up our standard 4i in range loop of 0, and we're going to put the length of nums. And now what we're going to do is we're going to set up with an if statement inside this. If nums at i mod 2 is equivalent to, we want to count the number of evens is equal to 0, then. Now here's the thing. Um, we want to now keep track of how many even numbers we've come across. So to do this, we're going to introduce a variable called count. We'll set it to 0. And so we say count equals count plus 1. And then we return count once we've passed through the entire loop. If we hit go, there we go. So just, just to highlight two common errors that, that students um, tend to run into. So the first common error is students take the sum of even elements. And actually this is a really good this is a really good thing to do and to be able to do. Um, but I think what happens is students get so comfortable with constantly taking the sum of a, sum of values. Um, they miss the subtlety that we're at. we don't want to take the sum of the values, we want to actually count the number of times an even value shows up. And the second error that sometimes happens, and this is a bit this is a more significant error, is we either see this, where we've put the return statement inside the for loop. So what's happening is we only ever check that first that first um, that first even number. Or sometimes what we do is put the return statement inside the if statement. In which case, the minute we enter the if statement once, we return count. And remember, as soon as we reach return statement, the function stops. Keep an eye out for that mistake, because it's a pretty common one. So I hope this video helped, and as always, please feel free to ask any questions. Have a wonderful day.